Good morning, or good evening, if uh, depending on what time you're watching this video. Uh, it's For me, it's the 1st of December, and it's 20 to 5 in the morning. Um, about to make my way over to Richmond Park in London to do the uh, installation of the new forged leaves that I made for the gates uh, and to do a bit of maintenance and repair. So uh, if you'd like to follow me on this journey, I'm sure we'll have a good time. So here we are. I've actually already um, finished repairing my gates. Here they go. And the pieces that are repaired were this, these leaves here, this one, and this one. So they were re-welded on um, and then repainted, and a few other little touch-ups on paint. And apart from that, it's all working absolutely fine, beautiful. So these were installed in 2012, and uh, it's got the way written across it. This is a protected vista all the way down to St. Paul's Cathedral. Although there's a dispute at the moment because uh, people have built within the vista, which is uh, supposedly protected. But the whole idea is that this all encircles St. Paul's in the background. So this is in Richmond Park in London. Over that way is uh, King Henry's Mound, which is the highest point in London. And there's a telescope on there and it looks all the way down this line straight there and you can get a really real clear image of uh, St. Paul's in the background. Uh, so this is sponsored by the Goldsmith family and The Way is actually the um, a book written by Edward Goldsmith who passed away um, near the time that this was commissioned and uh, so the Goldsmiths um, funded the project for these gates in, uh, in memory of him. Uh, there was a beautiful ceremony, um, and it's all kind of very sim symbolic. Edward wrote a book on ecology, as I said, in conservation, and it was just right that these are created like oak trees and elements taken from the cathedral, and uh, it kind of symbolises humanity's relationship with nature. So there's a little little wren here. Um, he was put on there to symbolise Sir Christopher Wren, who rebuilt the cathedral in the 1700s. And there's a little robin just up there. That um, is in memory of Robin Whitehead, who uh, was also a family member who passed away at the time when these gates were being built. So it's, it's interesting coming back to see these gates again, how I made them and things that I do differently. It's really nice to come visit. It's almost like a baby who's grown up and you've let, let loose into the world and every so often you get to visit them. It's really nice. Right, so that's that. Hope you've enjoyed it and um, happy forging a life worth living. See you soon.